Hey everybody, welcome back to Conan Exiles. I'm Rotten John, and as promised, today we're going to do a walkthrough of the Black Keep Dungeon up at the ruins of Zulon. Alright, so here we are at the ruins of Zulon. Now normally I'll take the steps to the left of the obelisk here, but today we're going to take the steps to the right hand side just so I can show you where the two lore stones are that are needed to finish one of your journey steps. There are a few more legion skeletons to fight this way and it does take a little bit longer. The steps to the left of the obelisk are a little more straightforward to the entrance of the black keep. But I just wanted to show you where these two large stones were. And typically you're going to be coming up here with a fighter thrall to help you clear out some of these legion skeletons. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now this can look a little confusing at times, but as long as you're following steps in an upward direction, you're eventually going to get to the entrance of the Black Keep dungeon. And right around the corner from that second lore stone is the entrance to the Black Keep dungeon. Click your E key or your action button and you'll open these trap doors. Now once you get inside you're going to want to go immediately to the left. And when you come up into this room there will be two legion skeletons to fight. You just want to work your way around to the back side of the little center room there. To the left in this room are four more trap doors. Two of them have loot chests, the other two are just empty. So once you've gotten to this room, you want to go to the right and just follow this chamber right around. So far it's pretty straightforward. There's only one way you can go here to get you to these steps. You want to go up these steps. Now when you get to the top of these steps, you might find one or two loot crates in this little area. There's still only one way that you can really go at this point. And in this area you're going to find two more legion skeletons that you'll have to fight. And then just continuing on, now you get to this point you can either go right or you can go straight. You want to go straight here. Then you want to make a right. Now when you come to this room, there's going to be a door on the right, a door in the middle, and a door on the left that's boarded up. We want to take the door in the middle here. There's usually no loot chests in this little area. Now when you find this curved hallway, you know you're going in the right spot. And as soon as you enter this room, there's going to be four legion skeletons that will attack you. There's usually two on either side here that are waiting for you to come in. But this is where we come in the door. You want to hook to the left and go straight back and you'll find a chest here. And this chest gives you the ancient key that you'll need to open the final door to get up to the boss room. Now to the back of this room, there's another trap door that you can open. And there's no more skeletons in here, so you can just run straight to the back. And what you'll find in here is just another regular loot chest with mid-tier items in it. Alright, so let's get out of this room. All we do is just turn around and run straight back through the way we came in. When you get to your trap door, open it and just continue straight on out. And 
this will lead us back to the room where the three doors were with the one being boarded up. Now we want to take the, the door to the right. And when you get to this hallway, you want to go to the left and go straight back to this trap door. That'll lead you to another set of steps. There's pretty much only one way you can go at this point. So just keep following the hallway around. And here we are. This is where our boss lives. This is the King Scourge boss. Right behind him is a stone that will teach you the King Scourge weapons and the Silent Legion armor. And if you don't want to fight him, from where you come in, you can go to the left or to the right and just follow the wall all the way around. And there are two little rooms in each back corner. You might have to fight a legion skeleton on each side, but there's also the stones that teach you the King Scourge weapons and the Silent Legion back here. And once again, back where we first come into the boss room, you can also go to the right and just follow the wall around, fight one legion skeleton, and there's two more stones in here that teach you the same recipes. Now you don't have to activate all five of these stones. As soon as you activate one of them, you learn the King Scourge weapons and the Silent Legion, and then you can get out of here. Typically, you wanna come in here and fight the boss to get the heart of the King Scourge so that when you get back to your base, you can use that on your blacksmith bench and make Teleth Soro sword, which is a really good sword to have. So yeah, here's our King Scourge boss and let's take a look at how he fights. Alright, you've seen his attacks. Once you get your thrall on him, you should be able to defeat him pretty easily. Now the quickest way to get out of here is just to come around to the side of where the boss stands. And you might want to have your health level fully refilled, because you will take a little bit of fall damage coming out this way, but it's a whole lot quicker than trying to wind your way back through the Black Keep dungeon and getting lost. There are rooms inside this dungeon that just kind of lead you in circles and it is easy to get lost inside of there. I like to try to come over here and just jump right down into the water. I did hit the one platform so it would have caused a little bit of fall damage. And when you're in the water just swim to the top, jump up on the, one of these platforms and follow the steps right back up. Once you get to this point, you just want to run around these center rooms. There's two of them. And that takes you pretty much right back to where we came into the dungeon at. 
All right, so we're out of the dungeon now. And if you would have done this in a normal manner, all of the Legion skeletons on the outside here would have respawned by now. But typically, if you brought a fighter with you, you and your fighter's inventory is going to be just about full. And there's really no sense in fighting them unless you need some experience points. So I just run out of here and head back to my base. Alright, so that's the dungeon in a nutshell. There are hidden loot chests around that you can find. There is a journal you can find inside of there. But that's not what the point of this video was. I just wanted to show you the quickest, easiest way to get in. Learn your Silent Legion armor. And kill the King Scourge boss so that you can make your Telesoro sword. And as always, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please, please hit that subscribe button. It's free to you, and it does help me help you even more.